What's up, y'all? Your boy MB here. MB here. Man, I've been waiting for this Wolf to come for a long time. Not for myself, but for, for you. Because the performance of the Red Line series for the price, in my opinion, is exceptional. Here we have the DD608. Let's unbox it. Get this beautiful boy out the box. You get your DD Audio stickers if you want to put that on your vehicle so you can be proud of it. Let's get this nice looking boy out the box. Man, it's been a long time waiting for these to come out. So, the DD608. Let's get this plastic out the way. Let's look at this boy. Oh, yes, yes. Cone area. DD known for the head. Cone area. Cone area. Let's go from the bottom up. Nice bending on the pole piece. Nice, thick. Nice bending along the outside of the former on the bottom of the top plate. So this is, remember these vents here for air on the outside of the former on the coil. And this is for venting on the inside of the coil as the cone moves back and forth. It's going to push air on. So you got a, got a former, right? It goes over the pole piece. You, the wine is on the outside, even though some sort of have wine on the inside. Wine is on the outside. So you got to need to get air here inside the former and air here to cool down. And that's what you see when you have this here. This is the cooling the cooling purposes for that. You got a magnetic boot, a rubber boot that has the DD Boss logo for those of you who like to in, in, invert the sub. The top plate look, appears to be nice, at least a quarter of an inch. <laughs> it's nice. Free flow design, free flow design on the basket, cooling out as you see. DD, particularly on there, and this is in the 600 series sub, but this basket is preparatory to DD. You see how they put the DD logo? You won't see this basket nowhere. Else. They pay for this. They pay for this, and yet and still, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. We have a, what we have here looks to be a, uh, uh, let me see. Oh, uh, wow, wait, I need to give me some light here. Yeah, yeah, they can see that, baby. They can see that. Make sure they, they know I'm. <laughs> looks to be a linear roll spider. Yeah, all the ridges look to be the same. They just spaced. I say the spiders are spaced at least, maybe about a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch apart. Two spiders. We have the. Oh, no, this is a nice touch. Okay, this is nice. Now, look at the tinsel leaves here. The tinsel leaves. You have to get an Allen key to insert. This is nice. Makes, and it's especially nice with the cutout. So that you don't have to get your wires rubbing up, right? They put the speaker leaf, the speaker, the speaker wires go here, and then you tighten them down with a uh, Allen wrench. That way you got everybody scuffing them, mm -hmm. scuffing the, 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 the speaker terminals, none of that stuff. That's nice. That's very nice they put on the 608. I wonder if they're going to incorporate that on all the rest of the 608 series. And they tell you, you no know, positive left. It'll always be positive left like any install. And the speaker wire like it will accept mm, 12 gauge? Yeah, 12, no, 10 gauge wire. You take the sheathing off and just stick the wire in there, 10 gauge wire. That's nice. The tinsel leaves are slowed into the top spider. You can see the former and the uh, windings on the the windings. Does it tell you what kind of winding that is? That would be nice. No, it doesn't. It's black. It could be copper. could be black aluminum wire. I don't know. It's not a list. I can't tell you that. I can't tell you what I don't know. Uh, oh, this is something I like, too. On the inside of a pole piece up top here, there's vents along the top of it. So you're going to get a, a lot of cooling. DD believes in a lot of cooling so you can play louder, longer. Besides the free open form, this is the free fold design of the basket. Air can go anywhere on the woofer. They have vents along the inside of the pole piece. Will help keep it cooling, even more cooling. I like the shape of the edges on the bottom of the basket. So right along with, right where the air could cause a little turbulence coming off of the the gap. It's shavered, so the flow of air could move freely there. Nice, great 
beat of epoxy at the triple joint. Non-pressed cone for more of a natural sound. Mm, nice. Nice. Go up to the top. The surround is not fat and round. Y'all know I'm not a fan of big, big fat surrounds on eights. We already limited on cone area. Let's get as much cone as we possibly can. So he has a medium roll surround that is glued with DD super glue to the cone. The dust cap, just plastic dust cap with the DD logo. And DD is embossed along the mounting, rubber mounting gasket. All in all, a handsome subwoofer. Very handsome. What does the specs say on it? So, the magnet weighs 130 ounces. The, 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 the X-Max is 13 millimeters, right, right at half an inch. Uh, Vaz is 7.5, 7 7.37. So that translates to about mm, 0.25. Get your water spawn enclosure. You can put this in. What size enclosure? Uh, port enclosure, 0.75 to 1.25. Ooh, yes, 1.25. With a 6 or 8? Well, 25 weight plays is 1.5. 1.25 to 608. Uh, probably the limited power handling. What's the QMS? 5.75. Hmm. That's higher than somebody else's <laughs> 900 watt drive. Oh, man. X mechanical of what? Two and a half inches? <whistles> oh, you, are you serious? In a wolf one, this is what I want to tell you about. In an eight inch wolf one, it's geared for a small, a very small box, uh, 0.75 to 1.25. Uh, and does put two of these in the truck. That is now. Here's the kicker, baby. You ready for this? Mm. You can buy this from DD for two hundred nineteen dollars, mm. or you can buy it from a dealer. You can buy this from DD. You can buy them from me. I'm a digital design dealer. I'll put them in a custom box for you in your truck. But you can buy it for two hundred and nineteen dollars. I don't think that's well. I believe you get it from DD as includes shipping. You buy it from any dealer, you want to pay the shipping cost there. Uh, maybe he'll do them for two nineteen. I'll do it for you and take some of the savings help you out. But it's two hundred nineteen dollars is the MAP on this woofer. Let's see what it does next in the free air test on music. Test out this QMS. See just how much. See how close we can get to that two and a half inches of X mechanical that this woofer has. Oh man, this is anything I know about DD man. Proven performance, sound quality exceptional. This is a nice eight inch. This is a very nice eight inch. Rated three to six hundred watts, and I believe it's eighteen hundred watts peak. So it was 80, yeah, 1800 watts peaks, which leads me to believe from my experience with DD, and this is just my opinion, this will for a take by 800, 800 to 8 to 850 on this all day easily. So you would need a good M2000, uh, DDM 1500 uh, to really get all the performance you want to get out of. Anyway, that's enough. We're going to do next, boy. We're going to put you in the free air test just to see how you move, how quiet you are. This is nice. This is real nice. This is like 219 am I reading this right? $219 for a DD subwoofer. Hmm. Peace. Get it if you need a box. 4469 4418.